Good morning, everybody. It's Friday, and we're trying to get some sound stuff going on here. Cody, I know you've been trying so hard. Is there any way you can turn me up just a little bit, or is this is it? There, almost, yeah, almost, well, almost, well. and we're there. Okay. Turn him down. It's she really is Gallagher. You're not. You're not lying. <laughs> you're not lying. She has become Gallagher with the, with the watermelon. Uh, we are going to just have her smash up because it's like we'll find a new joke for her. Eventually, I'm having fun. That's all that matters. No one else is. You stick um, with a lot your of good material. Are. Welcome back. Cobra Kai shill and <laughs> we are on it is Friday and uh, Doreen is here and Mark Riley is here <laughs> as well as John the outlaw Roca hello but that joke's so funny <laughs> never done that before actually. Yeah, yeah. I know See, mm-hmm. everyone laughed mm-hmm. not, not a single Happy not a single you. giggle Happy in your joke you. not a single giggle not even a kerfuffle not a kerfuffle a kerfuffle <laughs> yeah Cody Great it's word. I'm, now if you want to turn Darina all the way down. <laughs> Cody's not going to do that. But you know yeah. what I will say is Darina had the joke. She was almost there. It was there. It was about to get a laugh. And then... Oh, yeah. fucking dog got the bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely um, done, thank crew. You, thank well you. done. Okay. Uh, this is going to be a fun show. We have some cool stuff to talk about. Myself and Roka did see John Wick 3 <laughs> last so night. So jealous. Yeah. So we will talk about that movie in a non-spoiler type of way, because we don't want to spoil it for anybody sure, in the room or sure. people listening. Um, and we're going to be talking about the big match between Jeff Snyder and Mark Riley going up today. Oh. If Mark Riley wins, Roxy Stryer banned from ringside against the odd <laughs> couple. <laughs> and She's out of control. Shirals. That's that's good. Yeah, how'd you feel about it? Because you see, you've gone through a, a lot in your career in this yeah. morning. Yeah. Uh, you know, it wasn't. You've also been assaulted by Andrew Guy. Yes, I have. Um, and, and took it better than Benjamin Bateman. But go ahead, yes. <laughs> you taking a shot at Ben Bateman? I'm just. I look. Hey, come on. All right, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, old, you know, old wounds you know, done. Old, you know, old guys, wounds. Guy yeah. took yeah. the lick. slower. He, he took, took the, the lick and he kept moving. He did. He did took you know? the shot. Yeah, fair did, enough. Did it like a gentleman. Yeah, but but, uh, you, but, but you think because I suspended her for the game and now yeah. Riley, it, her fate is now in Riley's hands. I think that's fair. You're wrestling. You're a wrestling guy. Absolutely. You should have hung her above the in the cage like the old school wrestling. She <laughs> was. Just, today's climate that would work great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not controversial at all. That's true. Yeah. That's true. I'll tell you what was what is controversial and is absolutely amazing. Which is that you gotta watch or listen to and, and it plays really well on audio. Yeah. Roxy Stryer's interview on Inside Schmode on just went up on Monday. Oh good. It is incredible. Does she go after those two guys? Everybody. Yeah, good. She goes after him. She yeah. goes sure. after Can you actually bring it up, Cody? I wanna get I want to get Riley's reaction on when they bring up uh is it just put just put Roxy Stryer uh inside Inside Why he's Justin Guarini still there? It's so funny. <laughs> um, and it's like the last. It's like the last like three minutes. Is Alex in the room? No, Alex. No, all right. Because I don't. Okay. No. Hey, Alex. Aww. Because it's it's it was something that was said about uh, Mark Riley. And I'd really? like to get. I like to get. She went after you. A little bit. Of course she did. Do we need to close a little bit? Door? But we are going to be doing the John Wick thing. Um, as Cody looks for that, it's the yeah. There you go. You got it. It's like the last like three minutes or so. Um. And Michael Rooker was cast in James Gunn's, or we think yeah. he was, in James yes. Gunn's Suicide Squad 2. So we'll talk about that. We'll get some Twitter questions from you guys, some live calls. Um, and Look yeah, and nice we time. have a very special phone call we're going to have, too. But it's yeah. before it's before the Andrew Guy thing, I think. Let me just turn it up a little bit, and I'll tell you where it was. Push, push play. Hey, Roxy. Andrew Guy. No, go back a little bit. Andrew disturbing, yeah. but I've shared hotel beds with him, and yeah. I've seen it before. So. And it's a little bit more. Yeah. Try that. I, Let's keep I going. Maybe there might be a clip of actually. He had to do what he had to do. Mm-hmm. And the chairman. The chairman. No, he had to do what he had to do. That might be it. Try that. When. When. Not, when. Not if. Got it. If yeah, Riley it, go wins. Back. Yeah, go back just a little bit more. And here's the, there's the Riley, the Riley stuff. You know, uh, there's a lot of stuff. If, if you Mark and Snyder are going to play. If Snyder wins, you you get no, to. No, you know, it's still, it's still uh, back before a little bit more of this. Just a little bit more, Cody. Can I get a point for that? Yeah. All three of them. Yeah. That's all three of them in a line. I just should have. Careful, though, when you slap Dagnino. He sometimes, pay, sometimes pays that? for that. He's going to slap you, too? Um, oh, Here. God. <laughs> You've been suspended by the chairman for a month. But we got this, like, stipulation going on. This is where I, I, I you know, uh, there's a lot of stuff. If, if you Mark and Snyder are going to play. If Snyder wins, you, you get to uh, uh, be at the title match. Is that what I'm saying? You mean when? When. Not, when. Not if. Got it. If Riley wins, you're you're barred from from ringside. Uh, explain to me what this is. We got we got a couple minutes left. Yeah, here. I think that that's exactly what you just said. If my boy wins, so mm-hmm. when my boy wins, when? then I get to be at this title shot and I get to help them defeat the Shire Wolves. So mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. have no doubt in my mind. I mean, I I would bet anything on it. <laughs> Snyder is hungry. Mm-hmm. He's ready, and. 
as I just said, Riley's a sheep. He's hungry. Yeah. Right? Riley's well, a sheep. She, so yeah, she went. She went. She went. It was before this, but it, but it, you go. You go yeah. into. She really. Smiles. She really goes. <laughs> well, she goes. She it, it, low hanging. It's just hard for Cody to find it right now. It's a thing to say. That's an easy way to go in and try to get the sheep. Her, what? yeah. What's what she what's said? Her to paraphrase yeah. what she said, up to, it, was, it was it was that you know she she doesn't understand why you would align yourself with Dagnino and Bateman, and that you that you got paired with them in anarchy. She understands that, but you decided to stay, and yeah. you and and you bought into this what she calls nonsense of Ben Bateman. Wow. So you know what happens when you win a lot? <laughs> People call it nonsense. They, they call it nonsense. They call you sheep. They call you the low-hanging fruit, too. We're old. We can't do this anymore. And then you keep winning. And right. so they have to yeah. keep trying to do stuff to, to get something. in there, you know? Yeah. So you're going you're gonna to make her pay, with, and today's the day. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Well, there That's we go. Be fun, Riley and Snyder. In fact, I'm going to text her right now. Right. <laughs> Riley and Snyder. <laughs> it goes it down on, uh, on, on the channel. So if you're not subscribed, go do that. But I would really suggest watching an interview with Roxy. It was amazing. Um, all right, Cody, let's get our special phone call in here. <clears throat> because there's another yeah, phone call. Bye. Thank you. This is a phone call that very special guest. They mm -hmm. were going to stop playing footsie with me. Um, and <laughs> we, now she's just kicking me like John Wick. Uh, but we are going to, to be talking to this particular person uh, because there's something you got a beef, Roka. Don't tell us who, but there's a beef. Yeah. And and you're gonna you're, you're gonna go right after this person on on the air. Probably. Roka has done that before, and this is gonna. It's be not good. surprising. Oh. And yeah. we're gonna we're That's gonna really, see we're gonna see yeah. uh, we're gonna see some fireworks. Here. Uh. Yeah, I like fireworks on Roka, uh, and and I can tell you that. Can this, it be a firework hammer? It would. Uh, that, that, that's what this is Sweet. called. This is the firework hammer. This is going to be the firework <laughs> hammer. Don't right. please don't do that. This is a terrible mic. Tell Sorry our, about terrible that. system. Also, this table sucks. Yeah, that's that's what it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what was I ask? Wait. Was that? Yeah. yeah. What? Can I not say? That? I find it ironic that Roxy is. Upset at you for aligning yourself with Ben Bateman. Hey, the no. irony of that is amazing. No. It's hysterical. Her of all people. Yeah. Well, Shane, well, you got, I'm telling you, wait until you see the end. You're going to be very. You, yeah. I think you're going to get heated if you look at the end of that interview. She doesn't mention you. But, oh, but, good. No, but it's just. It she said that she some says. inconsistent bullshit the other day. I was like, win a title, then come talk to me about oh, criticism. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll see what happens. Manage a title winner, then come talk to me. Those, so you don't think. You think that the odd couple can beat the Shire Rolls? That's Mark and Drake going with Snyder? I want the Shire Rolls to win, obviously. Yeah. So sure. that's what I'm going to think is going to happen. Mm. Shire Rolls. Was, who was I talking to last night? They asked me who I thought. Um, and the, I just think, and this is no disrespect to the Patriots, and I've told JTE this before. Um, I think the Shire Wolves are the best team that we've ever had mm -hmm. because I think the – and the Patriots, what they accomplished, I don't know if anybody accomplished what they did. Mm -hmm. The division was a little easier back then. That's mm -hmm. all I'm saying. Ooh, um, they, wow. It was a little easier. Um, you don't think so? It's all the same people dancing around who were dancing mm -hmm. around back then just on different teams. So, yeah. Different teams. But when you kind of – still on the same – Change it up like players. that. But, different team. But I agree with your general foundation. Yeah. I would put the Shire Wolves' knowledge yeah. and that's, abilities that's kind of what I'm saying. over the Patriots because yep. there was always right. but look at the controversy with they the Patriots. They are smarter. That, well, look at the Shire, <laughs> the Shire Wolves in two, in two matches. They beat the – they beat who's the boss? Yeah. And they beat uh, Whitney and, and Bibbs. Mm -hmm. So two great teams. That the f Patriots for their first two defenses, I think, were against um, Team Trek. Yeah, we're good. That's all right. um, yeah. And then, but I mean, they, they defended against. I mean, they defended against yeah. Shire or uh, the uh, Wolves of Steel, which yes. is a great yeah, yeah. team. They, they defended against the top ten, ten three times. Three times. They beat so, I mean, it's times. tough. Yeah. It's tough. We might, we'll never know. Yeah. We'll never know. And but they we beat will. above the line the first time. Yeah, they right. Did. I know it's so hard. It's it hard for me to say. The questions are harder now, right? No, than they used not to be. I feel like when you guys first started, I feel like they've gotten. I don't know. Difficult. You look, and this is not even because I was in the a match. Bit. Dan and I like want a depends. little bit, right? Depends. Yeah. I think the first round questions have gotten yeah. harder. Dan yeah. and I first talk, round. Dan yeah. and I talk about it too. If yeah. you go back, you watch my match with Dan. Like the match oh, with Sam. My, my match with Sam, I was I was shot, yeah. and, they, and it's questions that should have been answered. You were no also exhausted. I was exhausted, yeah, but, but but there's no, and so was Sam. He just played that emotional match above the line in the Patriots. But you were working all day. I mean, yeah, yeah. and yeah. so but those questions were easier, and and those are today's standards types of questions. That match with myself and Merle. Mm -hmm. We both were like, what in yeah, that? Yeah. That was the first round. Right. Yeah. The first round. I think we both got like two or three questions right in the first round. And I was like, what are yeah. those questions? No. Um, but that, that that's that's changed significantly since. Mm -hmm. Do we have a do we have a phone call? Not yet. Not almost yet. there. All yeah. right, almost there. Um, we still, he's still figuring out how to use a phone. Right, careful, careful. We don't want to spoil anything. 
Uh, then maybe what we should try to do, because I don't want to give anything, I don't want to start talking about a story and then our caller calls in and then we, we interrupt the particular can story. Can we interrupt in the middle of a wick review? So it we just talk about bad. stupid shit? Actually, can what? I say Feliz Dia de las Madres because it's uh, ha- Mother's Day in Mexico. Is it? Yeah. Oh, Today okay. so, is. Uh, yes. Yeah. Well, so, happy yeah. Mother's Day. Yeah. And then we have Mother's Day on, Sunday. Uh, on Feliz Sunday. Feliz Dia de las sure. Madres. What are you guys doing? Anything... Uh, in particular, you going to do anything with your mother? Yeah. yeah. What are you yeah. doing with Dinner your with the mom. Nice. Yeah. Brunch with the other mom, the future mother-in-law. I see. I like what you're Ooh. doing. That's smart. That's smart yeah. stuff. Smart yeah, stuff. Yeah, we're doing the brunch, and then we're driving all over the hell, you know. All over the hell. All over the hell. All over the hell? Yeah. That's it. During well, during it's like, like, like Nick's going to pull the rocks. I'm like, like, can I come? That? Yeah, I don't no, know. No, no, no. No, driving all over Orange County <laughs> no, is not my favorite thing to do. I don't want to do that. No. It's, yeah. It's Orange County. It's kind of like, yeah, there's... There's Disneyland. The yeah. And what about you? There's what are you doing? Are you gonna do anything? Uh, no, we, uh, my mom lives in Virginia, so no, we sent her some nice. We sent her a nice little care package. And my girlfriend's mom yes. is uh, she's a treasurer for oh. a city council. So she's off on a. She's doing a mission. She's doing something this Important weekend. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's your mom, your mom makes. here? Or she in Mexico? She's in San Diego. She's in San Diego. Yeah, oh, she, I knew she that. moved. She moved here Stupid recently, person. like a few years ago. I know mm. that she lived in San Diego. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm gonna see her in a couple weeks to celebrate. Okay, cool. Yeah, Comic Con or everything. Yeah, she, she, is your mom a cook? Yeah. Yeah. Same. Unlike me. I'm like the worst Mexican. Yeah, no, she cooks. Everything yeah. she cooks is amazing. Yeah, I think Nathan told me that. Yeah, Cause yeah, because she made us tacos and machaca, and he's like, I want, can I live here? Yeah, yeah. We, need to, we need to figure that out for Comic-Con this year. <laughs> to get tacos and machaca to everyone? Yeah. Just, just, just yes, go please. to the showdown and Everyone? set up a, a stand. Fuck them! I'm coming over. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> can I, whoever wins, sorry, can I come, come over? You got it. My whole there second. You go. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> joining us on the phone. It, it, first of all, I'm gonna I'm gonna address this person as one of the people I was talking about before before we got into our conversation where I mentioned that the Shire Wolves I thought maybe were the best team that we had we ever had in the showdown. And Ooh. I know that the person on the phone will probably disagree with me a hundred percent. And the reason why is because he's part of the longest reigning championship team, the Patriots. It is the littlest of evils, JT. Hello, JT. <laughs> Going on. Happy John Wick Day. Yeah, J- so JT, before we uh, get to the basis of this phone call, I made a, I made a statement that I think that the Shire Wolves uh, have a l- and I told you this when we, you and I spoke, and I'm sure you'll have the same reaction now that you did when I told you. I think they are playing in a tougher division than you and Jeff. What do you have to say about that? I mean, I like to always say, you know, if you want to be the best, you got to beat the best. Uh, let them get to our record. And then maybe uh, the Patriots will come out of retirement and, you know, sell this one to grow. Whoa, look wow. at that. Look at the super fight. Okay, well, we'll, we'll figure that out. But that's not what we're having you call today. Who's um, retired? You're both still playing. Oh, yeah. you no, know, so do you know why we're having you call today? I mean, just talk about the greatness of John Wick 3. Well, we will talk about some John Wick 3 because we're we, we're going to have the, we we'll review it with no spoilers, obviously. But um, but but you know, at, to no one's surprise, you and John Roca have been rivals in movie fights. You've been rivals in uh, in the Schmodown and in, yeah. in this fake basketball game that we're never going to get done. Um, you, you, yeah. That Perry's going to beat you both. If he'd stop falling off bird scooters, we'd get it done. Yeah. yeah. Wow, look at yeah, this. There it is. Um, and you, uh, so. JT, it, it doesn't stop. Uh, John Roca has another beef with you, and I'm going to let him explain what it is. Uh, John, the floor is yours. What is wrong with you, man? Like, you you tweeted out this bullshit about the thumbnail for John Wick 3 on the review. You have all our numbers. You could have totally texted us or DM'd us or any or emailed us, but you got to call us out on social media. What are you trying to accomplish? Like, what do you get out of that? Protect the wick. All right, let, J- let JT talk. <laughs> First of all, last night as I sat down and prepared my review, and I did a Google search, and I did, all right, John Wick Chapter 3. And that pick came up, and I said to myself, that's from John Wick Chapter 1. Mm-hmm. My movie knowledge knew this. And what is that? Is my mo- so my movie knowledge knew this. John Wick Chapter 3 thumbnail in this photo. If I'm going to do Avengers Endgame, I'm not pe- grabbing a picture from Age of Ultron and throwing it on my thumbnail. <laughs> no, but I'm just no, you're going to put a cheesy guys. thumbnail. Uh, that's the funny the irony. Wait, you you, make, you make the worst thumbnails, and you're going to bash us for thumbnails? All right, let him talk now. You said worst, you meant to say best, and everybody knows that, John. Wait, say that, that again. JT, say that again. We didn't hear you. He said worst, and they're the best, and you know that, John. <laughs> 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 well, do you do you think I mean, because because one of the I think the difference is that you know he's holding the, the sh- I saw the, the the thumbnail in question here and he's holding a machine gun. Yes, <laughs> I mean it's different than putting a picture of Ultron on there. Do you? Do you well, and, I want to see the, that. The, the suit is the same. Hold on, JT. What did you say? Go ahead. 
he's holding a shotgun, not a machine gun. And it's like almost like an automatic shotgun, which he uses during the daytime during the scene where he's jumping over a car and just blasting dudes away. Nothing like that happens in John Wick. Yes, so. it does. Oh, my God. JT, we're not going to give spoilers here, but he absolutely uses a version of a shotgun in the movie. What the F is wrong with you? He does use a shotgun. Did you watch not the movie, the JT? Daytime, John. Not during the daytime. What What daytime? Hold on. I'm going to look yeah, at that yeah, thumbnail. From it just doesn't stop with these two. So, it's yeah. <laughs> also, what you do you guys should just make out? Yeah. Well, what do you what do you what do you think, J? Bro, you can't even tell that's the daytime, bro. What are you talking about? Does that look like day? Do you keep time scene, of day? We know what the I can't tell. Movie is, if we know that scene specifically, then you do that. All right. Well, JT, so you so you believe you believe that John Roca should change that thumbnail because he's doing a discredit to the to the series. Listen, I'm not killing anybody's puppy here. I'm just pointing out a little <laughs> <laughs> error in the thumbnail. To help you guys out. But that's my point. You could have done that without going on social media and trying to call out the outlet and the place that yeah, you've been to that you have friends at. Much fun. Oh, I see. So you did it for fun because you're a because you're a you know still doing a little YouTube show of yours trying to compete with Collider. I get it. Okay, cool. I respect that. I did. It's eleven thousand followers. Not little. <laughs> <laughs> eleven thousand followers. I love. Oh my God! Well, not, Wendy well, has more followers than you as do and started later than yeah, you. JT, do you feel? Do you? F yesterday was. It might be your thumbnails that's holding you back from getting more followers. All right, I've had enough of you. <laughs> um, J JT, have you? Uh, yesterday we mentioned that. For, and Ma Roxy mentioned actually two days ago that for some reason uh, you are still the only person in this little studio here that has his own movie poster. Um, how do, how do how do you feel that it has never come down and it still has scotch tape all over your head? I think it's fantastic. The spirit is there. You know, you don't want to lose my energy, especially because I can't be in the room. I know. When will so you I be in the room? Great. I just want, you know, I love being there so Roka can look to the right and just be like, oh, there's JT. Yeah. <laughs> when when will you uh, when will you be on the show? Will you ever be are you are you switching every day over at Screen Junkies? Yeah, well we go live every day at eleven AM, no. so it's cool. kinda hard. But I I'm telling you the second I have a day free where I, something we have a day off maybe you guys don't I will come in there and be on the show because trust me I want to All right. I'm, um, just, I'm just amazed at a movie poster I've never seen a movie poster bigger than the person that they're uh, doing a movie poster of that thing is taller than JTE. You, well, you've seen me in person. You should know that. I, I've barely <laughs> seen you in person. <laughs> All right, listen, JT, I want to ask you one more thing, and then, we'll, well, I, then I want to get your thoughts on John Wick 3. But um, mm -hmm. Chicago happened, and it was uh, the odd couple of Jeff Snyder and Mark Andreco who played uh, Who's the Boss in Ben Bateman and Mark Riley. And Jeff Snyder, your former teammate in Andreco, they won. They're going to be facing the Shire Wolves, and if, if they win... Jeff Snyder will be the first person ever to be the, to have a double championship in the team's division. Wow. Um, do you a are you rooting for him, or do you want that that prestige for yourself with your teammate Lon Harris? Uh, and do you think that they can beat the Shirewolves? Well, like I said earlier, I do think they're going to beat the Shirewolves. I do think Jeff is one of the best players to ever play the game. We were in a team together. We're the best team ever. <laughs> I want them to win because one, I want Shirewolves. I want their record to get out of the way. I don't want to hear this. They're going to be the best forever. Just get them out of the way. And then, like I said earlier, to be the best, you have to beat the best. And Draco, Snyder, they're one of the best teams out there. And if they are champs again, I want to be able to take the belt. And will there be, yeah, I was going to say, will there be some kind of satisfaction that if you and Lon can actually take the championship from Jeff? Absolutely. I Like I said, I, want to, I think we are the best team in the league right now. And I, I think Shirewolves and the odd couple are up there with the best of them. But at the end of the day, I do think we have the best team, so I want to beat the best. All right. Well, that's that's, that's the, the former team champion in the world, Little Evil JTE. Now we're going to talk a little bit about the movie. The, the thumbnail controversy at hand uh, is about the John Wick, the third chapter in the John Wick series. I saw it last night. Um, we, will, we will not spoil anything for anybody, JT. No spoilers here for the, for the audience. Mm -hmm. um, this movie is as consistent as the other two. I really loved it. I will say that, and, and this is not an insult to it, I loved, I mean, loved the first half. I mean, like, loved. And I really, really enjoyed the second. And I really, really enjoyed the second half. I loved the first and really, really enjoyed the second half. Um, and that's, again, not an insult. I think that the, the first movie is my favorite, and I'm probably tied with two and three at the, at the same. Would you say this is one of your favorite trilogies? 
It, it's pretty close because it's so consistent and it's just so much fun. The first half an hour of this movie, it, it's the best out of the whole series. The, I mean, they, they do some new, inventive, crazy shit the way he kills people. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's 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 a lot of fun. And Halle Berry, who I was concerned about, not because I don't like her as an actress, but because sometimes we talked about it yesterday on the show, is you look and you go, oh, there's Halle Berry. And she wasn't great in Kingsman 2. Where you see the actor more so than the character. Yeah, and I didn't, and I, and I, that wasn't the case. That wasn't the case in this one. I actually thought that is amazing, right there. There's a picture of the J, the <laughs> JT, JT Ewick. Who made that's, that? That's that's daytime. JT. Cody, did you just make that just now? No, someone from here did. Oh, that's good. Um, that's what daytime looks like, JT. JT, what listening. were your overall thoughts of the movie? Yeah, I loved it. I really liked the first one because I think it had the most personal story. Yeah. And I think the second one really delved into the world building. And I felt like a little bit in part two that the gunfights got a little repetitive. What I really liked about this third one was the creativity and the kills. I agree. Yeah. Like, he used environmental stuff to just take dudes out. Like, the situations they were able to put him in, I thought were so much more creative and cool and just badass than the second movie. So I think it's definitely a step above the second film. And I understand what you're saying about the, you like the first half and the second half. I think they're different rhythms. Yeah. I think the first half takes place right after part two. That's not a spoiler. Like, he's on the run. And then things kind of shift. But I do think it was one of those things where I'm watching the movie, and I'm like, I think this is the final action scene. And then a whole other action scene would yeah. kind of come again. And I'm like, holy shit, they're still going with this? Yeah. It kind of gave me some flashbacks of the raid. It, it like, absolutely the raid, did. Okay. Absolutely. And even have one of the characters from the raid in, in the movie, yeah. Exactly, and that can't be by mistake. True. So uh, it's one of those things where if you're just an action junkie and you just want some fantastic choreography and great action sequences, I think this one kind of tops the first two, although I don't think it ever gets that personal touch like the first one had. i I got to tell you, I agree 100% with that assessment, and I think that uh, there's the creativity inside of this movie is bar none. There's some stuff, even like the Halle, the Halle Berry stuff, that She's entire fantastic. sequence is amazing. Yeah. It is great. I, There's some really fun stuff in it, and our boy shows up from Game of Thrones. That's right. Ian Glenn, he's in there. Yeah, and um, there it's it, it's it's the mythology of it that I was very curious about. There's some stuff that you gotta, you definitely, you gotta suspend, you, you obviously gotta mm. suspend disbelief for this entire franchise, but but this one, there's certain times that it's like, oh, they're getting a little bit of Fast and Furious for me, but, but I'm over mm-hmm. it. Um, but I think that, uh, yeah, I agree with you 100%, JT, that I got a lot of uh, Raid vibes. I think I turned to, yeah, it was Kalinowski was there last night, and I said, oh, man, this kind of reminds me of the Raid a little bit. Roka, how'd you feel about yeah, it? Yeah, I loved it. I loved it to pieces from top to bottom. It was a lot of fun because I, I didn't like 2 that much. I thought 2 had enough of 1 to, in, the elements of 1 to enjoy it, but I thought it tried to overreach with characters that you didn't really care about. Mm-hmm. In this one, they brought back the characters you did care about from the second one and weaved it seamlessly into this story and and raise the stakes like every time every film you think they can't raise the stakes more or make them out odds more insurmountable and they do in this film and they give you a little bit of backstory for John Wick which we didn't get in the first film so and I think I that, that was great too to see a little bit you talk about a personal story JT and one they do some of that in this film as well to kind of the in the moments that you get a chance to breathe they do a nice job of like giving you a little bit of background with John Wick and see where he's, and seeing where he's going would you say would you guys say question for everyone that this is uh, one of Keanu who's best at uh, roles. Yeah. You mean John, the character yeah. of John Wick? Yeah. For sure. Right? If not the best? Uh, Neo, the first, he, what he did with Neo the first time around and stuff, and, and, and him and Speed was pretty good, but I mean, John Wick's, and Bill, I he's, just, Ted, he's just Ted. yeah he's just so perfect as John Wick and, and Ted obviously yeah and because he, he can, because you know what it is it's and it's and it's his delivery that in other movies that sometimes you're like yeah he's not the best actor but there's it it works in this movie like Bram like, Stoker's Dracula right <laughs> but if you ask him a question in John Wick and he's like is this it John he goes yeah and it works <laughs> yeah it works it's just it, those those types of things but what did you think about his performance JT overall in the uh, in this particular movie. Yeah, I think it suited really well for Keanu Reeves. I think, you know, back to music about The Matrix, it really just kind of like a marriage of who we know Keanu as and kind of fitting into these certain type of quiet roles. And it's more about the physicality than it is him trying to, like, give it these monologues. So I do think it was perfectly tailored for Keanu Reeves. And he was, like, really good friends with these guys. He worked with the director from The mm-hmm. Matrix movies. So I just think they knew exactly how to use him. I think the first movie definitely gives him the most range to kind of like he's going through some shit in that first movie after the dog goes right whereas this one is much like the second one he's just 
he's a train and nothing's gonna stop him. If you get in his way, he's gonna crash right through the track. And and this is and this is in the trailer, so it's uh it it's 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 out there in the advertising. One of my favorite parts that they showed in the trailer that is in the movie is when I think he, Halle Berry says something about a dog, mm-hmm. and then John Wick looks down and he goes, "I get it," <laughs> and it and it, and, yeah. and it was such a great line, a nice throwback to the first movie, and they did that a lot. They threw back to the they, they acknowledge everything going um, in the first two, and Ian McShane, who is oh, so good, I love him. He is so good in this in this role. He has a lot more to do in this movie, which I liked. So I mean, you know, it's one of those things to sit on it a little bit more because I I, I heard both what you and Roke uh, were saying, and I and I. I agree with John very much so that I think that you get a lot more from John Wick as far as a character and a story and a backstory, and I liked that element. I think I definitely need to see it again. It's a very rewatchable movie. How would you guys rank the trilogy? Right now, I would say one. I probably am going to eventually probably put three over, but I'm going to tie them. I'll probably put three. Just for now, I'll put three is slightly, slightly over two, but I, but I need a rewatch. Yeah, I need I, to rewatch. I've seen put, two like three times. I would put one, three, two, and three with three coming really close to, to one. taking one. Wow. Yeah. Where, 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 how about right. you, JT? Where do you stand? Yeah, I'm gonna go three, one, two, and wow. I think because I, at the end of the day, I go to these movies for the action. Yeah, and yeah. I do think part three has the best action from beginning okay. to end. Yeah. I agree I with you. The first That's awesome. Finding their footing. The second one, they kind of you know do a little more hand to hand combat. What I really like about the third one was. The hand-to-hand combat is on par with the gunfights. Yeah, and oh, that, yes. I wouldn't say that was the case in the first two movies. So I really thought they brought to our level with this one. And I will wow. say there are a couple of meta moments that completely work that would have been cheesy in any other movie. Yeah. They completely work in this movie, and, it, and it's perfect timing in terms of the comedy of those meta moments. It All really right. is. Well, Littlest of Evil, JTE, thank you so much for joining us on the show today, and please go find someone else to make fun of their thumbnails. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. you love you, brother. Later. See you, JT. It's a great JT. Uh, yes, I, I, you know, say what you will about his vocabulary. His reviewing is actually really good. He's great. <laughs> and he, he and I, I've, I've said it many times, and I'll say it again. Out of all the people in this space, I'm usually more so, if you look at all the reviews in the past, on JTE's um, you guys agree, you agree with him more? Yeah. We, have, we have very similar tastes, he and I. Uh, this is times that we're not on the same page. For most times, we're on the same page, and I'm definitely on the same page with him on this movie, for sure. There's no one here I agree with. No, you don't, but you, you do that. Actually, horror, yeah. Who, who's your horror? Like, like who's your Perry horror? and Christian. Perry. Okay, and what about this character? Not yeah, so much. He likes feeling, a lot of stuff. Feeling no, a little but, left out here. But you, but you liked, liked a lot. Actually, you and Perry liked Halloween Jesus. way more than I did. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So. But Dorina well, also likes to hate stuff because it's shtick. No. This is true. No. We have a lot in for the like the thing, obviously. Well, yeah, you know, but that's yeah. that's only for the cool kids in the right. club that have seen yeah. the thing. I have seen the thing. Hereditary. Do you like I Hereditary? Have seen the thing. Uh, I, seen I it. thought it was great. <laughs> 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 that's actually a better joke than like guess what I saw last night though. So maybe that's what guess you should do. Guess what I did watch last night though. I don't care. Guess what I watched. I don't. I don't want to know. John, John Wick three. three. <laughs> that's okay. But that's actually really good. That's okay. true. Yeah. Uh, Hereditary was good, but it's just depressing. By the way. Speaking of John Wick three, by the way, and they, and JT mentioned as far as them working with on the Matrix. There's some report randomly <laughs> yeah. that we saw today. Matrix yeah, let, four. Let what is that? What I have what, what's this. Going on? This is a Matrix four. Right as we're no going thanks. to air, and yeah. I'm printing <laughs> printing this up. And well, what was the last one they did? Was it Jupiter Ascending? Oh, the Wachowski. Yeah, I think it was. I think so. that was. Yeah. I mean, some people like it, but that was. Well, bad. That, it was horrible. I got to tell you, the only movies I really yeah. like from the Wachowskis are Bound. Yep. Matrix one. Mm-hmm. Um. Speed Racer. If you, look, Speed if Racer. you look at Speed, it looks really cool. If you look at Speed Racer now, it was definitely ahead of its time, and it's mm-hmm. a cool movie to watch. It's fun. Um, it's not a bad movie. I didn't like Jupiter Ascending. It's terrible at all. And what's nope. the other? And Cloud, Cloud Atlas. Atlas. Not nah. a big fan of Cloud Atlas. Mm-hmm. Um, I just think that yeah, and, and Matrix Two and Three. And three made two worse. Yeah. Because I liked I I liked Two when I saw it in the theater, and I said. I'll like this movie a lot more if three delivers the way I think it will. Yeah. And it did it. Three was awful. The only good thing of three is the battle sequence at the end. Everything else is terrible. It's so stupid. I mean, so so what are they doing? And yeah. With this <laughs> yeah. You look so upset. <laughs> Come, Come on. Like, Come on. on. But I wanna, what is it? What's the but okay. you're okay with like four more avatars? Because I don't know where the story's going with Avatar, and it's, and and because this is the sec because this is the second movie with Avatar, right? Mm-hmm. And I like the first Avatar. You like the, the script for the first one? It, it was it was it's bad. It, it was it's a, a bad redundant. Script. 
I don't know if it's a bad script, but it's, I think it's a familiar it's script. Really it's a bad, cliche. Bad I think it's a familiar script, in your opinion. <laughs> Unobtainium. Um, <laughs> but, but I think, but I think it is it was, and I understand. There's a lot of people that feel that way, and and but I also think that, and I think that you probably lead the charge on this a lot too. I think when movies become very popular, people automatically shift against it. Yeah, it happens all the time. Eventually, someone will turn. People are going to start, and they already have start already turning have. against Endgame. Oh and yeah, everything too. It's I just loved Endgame though, and that's super popular, and I loved yeah, it. But there were a lot of people who, who do the opposite. They sit, they 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 wait for it to get really popular, right. and then they just hate it because right, right. it's right, the you, popular. You hated thing. Infinity. War. I, you didn't like Infinity. Well, I didn't and a hate lot it. I just it. was bored. Right. Okay. I just I was just don't need to see it again. Right. Whereas but, Endgame, I was so happy. Yeah. But to answer your question, as far as Avatar two, I want. I mean now. I don't know if I'm going to want three after seeing two. I might see two and go, no, 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 no yeah. more. They're very similar, like The Matrix, right? So Matrix at least had three parts yeah. that made me say, I'm done. Avatar hasn't done it yet. Avatar, very much well, like you're just saying of Infinity War, right? Maybe Avatar's script is so good on the second one, you go, holy shit. Maybe I do want a third one, but I hate the first one. It's possible. Um, so I will, I don't, mm. but it's, poss- it's, it's a possibility. Anything is possible. That's what I'm saying. Um, but the fourth Except for one, you watching the thing. It's not impossible. But the fourth one, as far as Matrix, what are they going to do? I don't want a prequel. I don't need a prequel. W- what is it? All right. So we got to track this a little bit. Zach Penn comes in, negotiations to do a re- uh, to do to write a reboot. Ah. Then he goes on Twitter and suggests that it's a franchise extension. Then Chad Stahelski tells Yahoo Movies UK that he's the director of John Wick. He's right? the director okay. of John Wick Three. I'm super happy that the Wachowskis are not just doing a Matrix, but they're expanding what we all loved. And if it's anywhere near the level of what they've already done, it would take more than a call to go, hey, we want to be your stunt guy. I would probably go and, and get hit by a car. Surprise, we're following up asking the Wachowskis were directing the new film. And Stahelski replied, I am not sure of the overall. I'm not sure if Lana is, but they're involved. Yeah. And if they wanted my help, I would absolutely put down whatever I was doing to help them. That, I think it's going to happen. Yeah. I think it's going to happen. I think that, you know, probably because the Wachowskis at this point, haven't had uh, a hit in a while. They're probably going to go back to the well to see if they can get it working. But and I don't even remember because I think I've seen the third one. I might have seen it twice. Mm. I know Trinity dies, right? But doesn't. Yeah. Well, because, Sorry about spoilers. I didn't. Fi- Fifteen I didn't, years old. I didn't finish the third one. I turned it off. Right. But yeah. does doesn't Neo go it, also? It becomes a cycle, and you find out that this has been happening multiple times. Right. And there have been multiple Neos. And this is supposed oh, to, right, this right. story is supposed to be the new change in it all. And everyone dies so that Neo, including Neo, so that this change could happen. So he could come back. So he could it, come back, yeah. But, yeah, but you know did, what? He did, did mention that yeah. he would be up for it, but he it's a Keanu process. Right. Would be up for Keanu, because they asked him, because yeah. uh, it's all John Wick 3 stuff, and they asked him, and he's like, Emotionally, he would want to prep and see if it's yeah, worth it. Yeah. It's like what the character, you know, you know that thing they do when yeah. they're like, yeah, I got to check the script. I'm He's doing Bill and Ted three, right? So right. I'm, which I'm very excited about. I am excited too. The only thing I don't like, and I know people push back against this, is that Station's coming back, or what they said, not Station, uh, Grim Reaper. Yeah, Grim Reaper's coming Death, back. Yeah. What's wrong with oh, that? Oh, William Sadler. Because yeah. it's, Come it's on. gonna we go we go back to our conversation with um with He's the Gremlins one and Gremlins two. I just I thought it got I thought that it just Bill and Ted got you didn't like the second one I, I think it's fine but I like the like first but the first one the first the one is incredible the second the second one just kind of goes into a very strange place I'm with you. for me yeah. I enjoyed the first one the second yeah. one kind of like was a little weird it was a little weird that's but what I like about it but death, like death, yes. but death yeah. playing the guitar at the end it's, what's I mean, wrong with that I mean, what's, what's let the, death have but what's fun the, too what's the difference what's the difference between Socrates I, mean, I know it's so, so yeah, yeah. Yeah. character in the, yeah. in the movie, Socrates. But it's Socrates coming up and doing some stuff on the thing. I, right. I don't know. For some reason, it, always, it just never worked for me. <laughs> Ellis loves the damn thing. I need to. So. Yeah, he also so likes good. Young Guns, too. So. I love whoa, it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Young Guns, too, is great. It's Ooh. terrible. Oh, you guys are crazy. You don't like Ellis, Young Guns, either. Like, damn. I love Young Guns. Oh, you, you don't, don't, you don't guns like too? the second one? Terrible. Oh, terrible? Dude, you got terrible. Ellis, Nap- like Ken, Nathan. I, they all are obsessed with that movie. I've never heard that take. I've heard the take that Young Guns, too, is better than one. Yeah, they all love it more. But That's I've never so heard. Ridiculous. I've never heard that. Balthazar yeah. Giddy and Christian Slater are and awesome. Alan Ruck are going to be better than what you got in that hey, first movie. Hey, don't go against Arkansas Dave. Balthazar Giddy though, he's just a young kid that gets exactly. involved and then gets killed. Like, right. Listen, I'm on. A, I'm on a text exchange with Ken, oh. Ellis, and Nathan. Yeah. Do it. You are. You're a little do it. Banned what right have right now. been afraid of? I'm not even on that text exchange. So you're care. not. I'm telling them to to not invite you anywhere. You tell Mark Campbell's son I said it. I like. I like. I like Young Guns too for sure, but. 
um, I love it. But yeah, look. It. But, but you know what it is, makeup though. Is terrible. Who? But yeah. but the thing about, about the story. <laughs> the thing about any when whenever they announce like a fourth movie, like yeah. we talked about Indiana Jones uh, five Four possibly and all this stuff. Any honestly, like at this point, most of the time, the percentage of these reboots or remakes or sequels being good, they're usually not as good. Right. But sometimes they're surprising. True. I yeah, get right. Cobra mm. Kai. You know, yeah, sometimes. That took a while, and that took a while though, too because you had the next Karate Kid yeah. was a stink bomb, and it took, and everyone thought that movie was gonna, I mean, the TV show was gonna be crap. Oh, exactly. Yeah, everybody and the creators knew it going into it, and they had to prove, mm-hmm. and they've had. Now two great seasons. Have you seen season two? Yeah, I'm halfway through season two. I'm finishing so it this weekend, so I, I, I love it. Yeah, and it started a little slow in the first episode, second, yeah. and then you're like, okay, let me see, and then boom, they kicked in, and it, they keep escalating the tension between Johnny and uh, Daniel. and Daniel, yeah. which I love, and Martin Cove being in it is amazing. It's just yeah, I think I think a I'm great really, I think Riley and I are the only ones who had the problem with the super karate. Uh, it's just oh, okay. the, the teens just picked up the karate a little too fast. Oh, I got you. Yeah, it's yeah. A, but got a little. It's just a little too movie. It's like it's like Daredevil. Is like, this still or what? What would be your guys's favorite, or do you think mo- most successful reboot? Not money wise, just like that's well done. Cobra yeah. Kai counts. Yeah. I mean, I got. What did you say? Reboot or sequel? Because that's well, both. Just uh, just a, anything that like uh, like anything that comes back after a yeah. while of not Full House. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Cobra Kai. I, I, how do you not say Cobra Kai? Yeah. I'll still defend Blade Runner 2049. I'll, I would I'll defend too. it today. I, I love it. I love that. Movie. I think it's uh, groundbreaking for what they did visually mm-hmm. and sonically. I think that movie. I was blown away, and and uh, being a huge fan of the first one, yeah. um, I was very happy with that aspect of it, with the VFX, and and it looked gorgeous. Right. It's such a gorgeous looking movie. But but the story, <laughs> uh, I liked half of it. I just didn't like the fact that they brought the nostalgia characters from the original one. I'd, ra- I'd much rather them not even, like, just have what? Deckard showed up for, like, a second, but not make it about him and Rachel. Like, I just didn't find that storyline re- realistic. Like, uh, the first movie, they're not in love. You don't like the almost moment? What no. Mean they're not in love? No, they're not. He basically, like, forces himself onto her no. during that scene. Even, it's, it's, it's. We can we there's can get car- into an there's hour. There's cartoon rabbits mowing lawns. Because you my don't head care. <laughs> no. I get what you're saying. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I thought that's what your brain looked like all the it time. Is. It is. But, it, but but now they're actually they're actually being productive and mowing the lawn because they have no fucking <laughs> idea what you guys are talking thing. about. I, okay. I get what you're saying because I, yeah I've heard that numerous times when we did it on Cinephile. Steve brought it up like him pushing against the wall, right? No, I and, and I don't. But, the, but anyway, at the end they just run away and like let him finish his point. But it's a noir film. In the noirs from the 40s and the 50s, the men were a bit tougher. The women were a bit Brassier, stronger. Right. That's how it was. She's and she's a replicant. Him. Right. Like she, she's she, resisting him because he's the truth. She doesn't want to face. Well, no, 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 no. Making her no. see the truth that no, she's a replicant. No. That what happens in that scene is that she's behaving like a computer. Right. Ah, fuck and one so, of the bunnies just got so, hit by the milk. <laughs> <laughs> so I, think, I, I think I might have to have a Dorina on for a deep cut, and we talk about this movie. And we yeah. have to. All right. Cool. We'll do it. Do it. I, I think Done. that I'm on vacation in a couple of weeks. Do it. <laughs> sure. um, let's uh, let, let's let's move on. Now okay. we we do have other things to okay. t- talk about in this in this hour. Michael Rooker, mm. who is being Mary rumored Poppins. to be yeah he's he's. Going to be in Suicide Squad Two is the rumor. Is the where does this rumor well, stem from? It's not you know it's the rap. It's El yeah. Miembe yeah. uh, reporting that he's in talks to join the Suicide Squad or Suicide Squad Two as uh, what's his name King Shark. Okay, that thing, okay. that big freaking shark thing that I love. Yeah, I'm going to say that this is probably a 99 percent guarantee. This because is locked. James Gunn and Michael Rooker are buddies. They're like yeah. really good friends. They're not just they don't just work together. They're like buddies. Like they when that stupid periscope thing was out that I used to do all the time, James Gunn used to do periscopes. Mm. And every periscope he did from his house, Michael Rooker was just there <laughs> hanging out. Yeah. And it's like cooking in the They're kitchen. buddies. They're <laughs> friends. So anytime James Gunn gets a gig, uh, Michael Rooker's going to be in it. And that's not a uh, a thing of like, oh, shoot, i got to put my buddy in a movie. You're friends with a really talented dude. Use him. Because Michael Rooker is awesome. That's Michael King Rooker. Shark. He's perfect. He, he, Mike, Michael Rooker elevates everything. He, yeah. elevates, he elevated The Walking Dead when he was on it. Mm. A movie that he that a lot of people don't even realize. He was great in Cliffhanger, which is a great one. But, <laughs> but a movie that, to me, that he I'll never forget him for. And Rook, I want to see if you can if you yeah. if you can pick the movie. It's not Mall Rats, which okay. is great in that too. He's, great he's in, that? in that. Yeah, he's yeah. the dad. Yeah. Holy he's, crap! He's, yeah, you're he right. gets the pretzels. Yeah. 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 The pretzels. And he's so, yes. And he oh no, I know. Oh my so, god. He's so I completely good. Forgot. But the, the movie that every single time I see Michael Rooker, I flash back to this movie. Rook, can you guess the movie? I'll give you three chances okay. to do it. It's an older. I'll give you. The, I'll tell you, it's an older movie. Okay. Can you guess it? 
That's well, the first it's, one. It's, it's there's it's like old, a million. It's an, old, it's an older movie. That's the first one. Okay. That that's the first clue. Which now gotcha. you got to guess. Older movie means that, that's, you can pick one. To, I have one in my head. Can but I older play? movie play. for him I mean, is like really. It's like the 20s. Older movie. Yeah. Days of Thunder. Days of Thunder. Older. Older. Older than Days of Thunder. Yeah. Older than Days of Thunder. All right, give me a second clue. Second clue is Thriller. It's a tough one. This is a real tough it's one. A thriller. So he's a villain. Would you say he's a villain? I would say he's a villain. Wait, so this is your favorite? N- not necessarily my favorite, but it is a movie that I, s- the first time I ever remember seeing him wow. because okay. of this movie. I know it's this a Henry. You became a fan of him. S- yeah, when I just know him from right. every time I see I mean, I interviewed him at Comic Con and I remember going, oh, he- I still can't get out of my mind. I know there was Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer. I remember Older. that one. Older. Okay. Yeah. Last clue? Um, performed with a legend. Performed with a legend. These aren't easy clues. They're pretty good, though. Shit. It was not shit. <laughs> what about shit part two? <laughs> Definitely. Well, he wasn't in shit part two. Shit part two. Part, no, that's part right. three. He died in the shit. fourth one. Yeah, he died in shit. <laughs> it was in the Lion King. He was in, you want to tell you what it was? Go ahead. Yeah. Sea of Love. Oh, Without Jesus. the chain oh, right. 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 He was, he was right. yeah. So he was. He's so, the one stalking Ellen Borg. Now I want to look it's, at it. It was her ex-husband. Ex-husband. That's he, right. And he's he's the killer. Right. He's the killer. And Sea of Love is a is a incredible. How old is he? Uh, well, he's, a, he's in his he's late probably fifties. He's, he's been around. 50s. He's been around for a while. That movie was nineteen ninety or something. Yeah, I remember seeing that in the theater with my dad. I was super young, and I loved it because I was a big Al Pacino guy. Yeah. And it's one of those rare ones where they give Pacino a love story he, to play. He, Man, he's yeah. even in JFK. He's oh yeah, got Here's, so many. Who's the who's his, who's his partner? He's sixty four. John way. Goodman. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, because I always remember this one line where he's like, they're talking about something, and then you know, Dick Joke comes out and he goes, "Yay long," and then Goodman goes. Yay long in that John Goodman <laughs> type of way. Um, Man, what a career. Yeah. So anyway, uh, Michael Rooker, to be in this movie does not shock anyone. He will elevate it. I think it's a good casting choice. Yeah. Anybody have any uh, opposing opinions? To that? I don't think so. I right. think we all love him. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. great. He's, King Shark's a cantankerous character. I mean, I have, a, yeah. obviously, an opinion against sharks, but... You don't like sharks? No. Yeah, I'm, I'm not big fan I don't of like them either. either. They yeah. freak me out. They, I respect like them. Dinosaurs. I'm just going to stay out of the water. Right. You wouldn't. You wouldn't want to hunt them. No. But, but you no. Just J- Jaws messed me up for life. Right. Yeah. You just. You wouldn't hang out in their neighborhood. No. Yeah. No. Why, why would, would I you, do that? Why would you do that? Did you ever see that the viral video of the woman it was like after a shark attack and mm-hmm. she just go, "Why are you going into their house? You're going to get eaten," and it just yeah. went everywhere. But then do you funny. also? Did you guys also see that video of the woman that just plays with, like, hangs out with sharks? Why and would they do that? No, because she's trying to show people that sh- that sharks aren't necessarily bad, and yeah. and well, that you just have to yeah. treat them a certain way. And sure, she's yeah. literally playing like them like they're dogs. You it's know, crazy. That's the thing is, I don't think sharks are bad. No. They're just wild animals. Scary. They're, they're, yeah. they're they are just instinct. Yeah. They they just swim around and they get if something splashes next to them they attack it. They're if morons. they smell blood they it, it's all they don't have a brain. They're right. They're morons. They, they have, like to eat. They they have their only purpose. Those things. dead eyes. Yeah. Their only I purpose in life is to part. swim and eat anything in front and of them. And make mm-hmm. baby sharks. That's all. They're dinosaurs. They're not dumb. They're, 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 they're very smart animals. Their eyes. They have no dead. brain. Morons. They, no, it's the, incredibly smart. And that's not even it. Because they know whales are smart. That's instinctual. That's just instinctual, dude. That comes. That comes with part. Of being an actual shark, that's what you're born with. The same way that you're born to shit every ten minutes. Like there these you things. Go. Do you these think they th- have bunnies in their brain too, walking around and stuff, or they, squirrels? They, they'd eat the fucking bunnies because they they find a way to eat them. But they, no, the, the the fact that these sharks, that's what they, that's just part of their DNA. Yeah, they are instinctual. They they know how to. They swim fast. They eat things. And whales and dolphins are smart. Right. These things are not smart. They're just. You think they're smart? Why would you? I don't think they're smart. See, it's a dumb. weird thing to call them dumb or a they're moron ambitious. when they're just, it's like if a shark's coming at you and you're swimming, right. you can't talk it out of it. You right. know, you can't talk well, about you it. Can't, you can talk to a whale just, either, I mean, I still think they're smarter than all of us. It's just a... <laughs> <laughs> Cody put a picture up of a sad shark. <laughs> sad I'm shark sorry. There, I'm sorry, Mr. Shark. I don't mean to call you an imbecile. I just think that you, I mean, for the, If they the, look like that, I wouldn't be so scared the of The size of the body that they have and the size of their brain, mm-hmm. it's, it's it's not, you know, the, the math, they're not smart. I don't know. It's it's, dead eyes, I don't like them. Yeah. It's not that. Like it's dull's eyes. It's like, it's because they're, it's just a bunch of nerve endings. What, no Cody, brain. you like them? 
of just feel bad for our shark demographic. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like King true. Shark here. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to be pissed. He's not going to come on the show. A shark's, talk about about too. Him. A shark's it? brain is what? a complex organ belonging to a large and sophisticated animal. Sophisticated. What? Millions of neurons uh, arranges its functions in a hind, mid, and four brain groups. Almost okay. two, so two-thirds <laughs> of the shark's brains is devoted to its olfactory organs, highlighting how important it is for shark to have an acute sense of smell. It's able to identify prey, recognize aquatic Instinct. territorial markers, Ugh. or to find potential Instinct. mates. Yeah. That's smart. Instinct. I'm sorry, Roxy, I know you hate when I come in with facts, but this is the truth about the sharks. Mm. Are you just Googling sad sharks, Cody? Yes, I am, Dorina. Uh, <laughs> they can fine. even be trained. What's what's an animal? What? Do you guys remember Fear, My, fear Factor? What's yeah, an animal you couldn't go into like if they had a pool of something? Sharks. I'm with Dorina. Sharks. My Octopus. parents showed me So that's jaws the scariest one. Alligators. Spiders. Oh, I love alligators. Oh, alligators. I think they're cool. Yeah, they but terrify they're scary. Them. Yeah. Yeah. Alligators what and crocodiles. Did, what did, did you, you ever say see? That? Spiders. Killer yeah. whales. More than. What about I don't know snakes? Why that's my snakes too. I don't know why I'm going to do this. Uh, Cody, bring up uh, bring up Killer alligator. Whales. Alligator eat oh. zebra because they take you down <laughs> and keep you. Have you ever seen this video? You, then no. Yeah, that's Have true. Have you ever seen the alligator and the and the zebra thing? It's the most terrifying oh, yeah, the videos. Oh, yeah, fight. Yeah, uh, yeah it's the seen, second one. What second about one, the second. cat that grabs the alligator from the thing? Well, watch this. This, this. this this crop of zebra. Oh, boy. It's just, he seems oh, so it's, happy. It's, it's the zebra's I don't know fucked. if this is the one. Is this the one? Oh, there's a lot go of toward, Go towards. See, and this is a crocodile. Go towards those, the end. Those bastards are... Go all the way towards the end. Let me just see. No, that's not it. That's not it. Go back. This isn't it. Where the hell is that? Um... Tears through zebra's soft belly. Crocodile versus zebra? Crocodile kills a zebra. Try the brute. I don't know. I got. I don't know. I've got to find. No, this. look up this the, coo- the cougar that you know, that, that takes the alligator from the lake. That one's pretty awesome. Anyway, well, uh, we don't have enough time for this, and it is my bad. Uh, let's. <laughs> uh, is, is, there, is there anything else? Is there anything else going Happy on? Happy Friday. Uh, yeah. Is there anything else going on as far as news? Is that, is that the majority stuff? I mean, that's the majority. Anything? You know that they just an update on Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. What's it's going to be time limit. You're going to get a wristband. You can only have four hours during mm-hmm. these previews, and then they're going to kick your ass out. Well, they have to. Yeah. I, mean, just gonna I don't know how they're going to do this people. because I don't they, want different go colored. Uh, it sounds so scary. They showed they showed <laughs> uh, a preview uh, at yeah. at a celebration, and they, what what the cool thing is that you go. Let's say it's the four of us, and we go on the Millennium Falcon. Is mm-hmm. it you want to? What would you want to do? Fly the fly the thing. Uh, sh- shoot the guns. Help with the. Whatever you can help with the, right, no. repairing it or whatever. No, I want to shoot. You want to shoot. Yeah. All right. So I and let's say I was flying it and these guys are doing other shit on the side, right? So there's that that's our pod. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. our pod. And it's like a thirty minute experience or whatever. So that means there's a whole bunch of people yeah. waiting mm-hmm. for you to finish. That's gonna and take it's forever. It's just the one, right? They don't have. I several. think they may have two it's, or three. Or is it like Star Tours where they're more. gonna have a few? Let's say they have ten. Let's say. Let's let say let they have ten. Millennium Falcon. The Millennium Falcon. How are they going to figure out how to get everyone else in the ship? Uh, That's exactly why I don't care to go right when now it, when it opens. I know. Yeah. It's like, Let them iron out the, the, yep. the kinks first. I'm going to go in yeah. two years. Yeah. That's, I'm, I'm okay with that, Most too. Most likely. Yeah. I just want to go. I, I don't even really... Because I don't really want to go for the rides, to be completely honest with you. I want to go for the experience. Yeah. But I, want, I but I don't want it to be crowded, right? So that's a problem. That's yeah. That, yeah, and because we got to get to a place probably two, three years to where it's like, oh, when's the dead time? Because, mm-hmm. because that's there's always a dead time with Harry Potter or mm-hmm. Disneyland. There's a dead time. There's not going to be a dead time for Star no. Wars when it first opens Do you think up. that's going to make di- the rest of Disneyland worse or better? Worse. Probably worse. Yeah, oh God. yeah because Damn it. because it's gonna fire all those people oh, in, and then they go yeah. screw this. It's too it's yeah. too crowded. Let's go overpopulate everything else mm-hmm. too. It's gonna feel like New Orleans and Mardi Gras. And yeah. they they I was listening to the radio this morning that Disneyland is raising prices again because they of want they to are. cut down on gridlock. Yeah, like because there's so many people going, they think raising the prices is going to. <laughs> but they've sorry, they, poor people. Yeah, yeah that's basically they what do they're that doing. every year. They, I used to have an annual pass for like eighty bucks back in the ridiculous. day, and now yeah. I don't because it's just too expensive. Right. That's what they, that's that's not right though. It's like sorry, yeah. sorry. It's for those poor people who can, who can't, can't. And I don't. I don't. I'm not saying those like, poor people. Right. Yeah. The, the the unfortunate people. Right. So how about those unfortunate people who save up this money for mm-hmm. their family to go with it and t- like to take their kids? And it's like we can't. We can't. That's that. That's what we did. We were. That was our trip. Right. It was Orlando yeah. for Disney. We drive down from Virginia. Get up at five a.m. Pack all of us into that right. car, drive all the way down, only get one hotel mm-hmm. room, 
for uh, everyone. For one night for everyone. We're right. Just so you can experience the whole thing. And then drive back. We wouldn't even have a hotel room. My mom would just drive me and my brother like early morning from Mexicali to Disneyland. Four hours in the morning. We'd get there when they would open. Right. And then we would leave when they closed and she would drive back like a freaking Wonder Woman. That's awesome. Yeah. She's amazing. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think that there will be a lot of reports coming out. They're doing a press day, uh, which we, they're sending, I guess, two people from Collider.com. We didn't get the we didn't get a chance to go oh, well. So, stinks. Yeah. I, I, would put, I would put that in our, in our episode. <laughs> Who's cool calling? I was asked. Is my wife to... calling me at ten forty? Let's see if it's her. No, I don't know who it is. You know what? We'll do this. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> hello, Terry. Yeah, uh, not not available at the moment. Can I take a message for Terry? Oh yeah, this call may be recorded or monitored. Uh, do you have a pen and paper available? I do. I do. Okay. Uh, my name is Sarah, and. Uh, the number to have me call, have Terry call me back would be eight seven seven. Okay, but the only problem with Terry, Terry's been at a cooking class the last couple of weeks and wasn't really sure if if the if it was a career that she wanted to kind of go down. Do you think that's should I? Is this gonna is this gonna mess up any of the uh, problems? Are you Terry's husband? It's complicated. No, 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 no. But I'm a, I'm a very dear friend. But this, look, Terry, Terry's got a, Terry has a lot to work through, and it, so, so unfortunately, I wouldn't be able to tell you ah. anything except for giving you a number to give me a, have her a call back, and right. just to protect her privacy as in regards to personal business matters. I see. Um, but I can give you that number. No, I'm all right. Um, you, you should probably do is call Terry because this is the wrong number. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> masterful. We haven't had one of those what in a while. What if it was yeah. an emergency? What if it was something bad? Um, well, I, I still I said, laughed. I thought, but, still but, thought but, it was but great. That's why I said yeah. call back because yeah. I, I didn't want to leave because no, I didn't want to pretend. I had no, to let, I let her no, know. No, it was good. You did a good job. Thank I'm very you. Thank you. It was like yeah, wrong was number good. Dana yeah. that time. Do you, yeah. We had we had a we had a woman call in one time and and think it was a different show. So we just started talking about, about love advice. So it was, I was going to do that too, but uh, it's complicated. It was good. It was. Co- yeah, <laughs> Thank you. Um, anyway, so let's take a couple phone calls. Well, let's take one phone call. Let's take one phone. Call. One phone call. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So let's let's do it. We'll take one phone call, and I got the the champ Matt Sarah's texting me. We got to get we got to try to call him in next yeah, week. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna text him, and we'll get him on the show next week nice. for sure. All right, Cody, when you have an opportunity. Not right now, Derek. I just said when you had an opportunity. <laughs> Not right now, I, You don't have to yell at me. I just said when you have an opportunity <laughs> that you can. Hello? Okay, thank you. Um, hey, you're on Collider Live. Who do we got? Uh, this is Bob from Kentucky. Hello, Bob Hi, from Bob. Kentucky. What's up, Bob? Uh, what do you got for us today? I just want to say I love you guys. Thank and you. And I was wondering. Um, I forgot what I was going to ask. Oh. <laughs> Bob. Hey, all of us, Christian, I know you like uh, uh, World War II movies and I war do. movies like that. And I was wondering. Broke a fought in World War II. Two. Mm. I served. <laughs> I served. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I was wondering, I like the old war movies like uh, Tor, 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 uh, not that, not that uh, Bart Box that uh, uh, Pearl Harbor was. No, no, no that was not a war movie. Yeah, like, no. yeah. like Midway, too, right. where they took all the actors and put them together in small rows. You think those are due for remakes? It's a great question. Thank mm-hmm. you so much for the phone call. Um, I mean, it's hard with World War II remakes mm-hmm. because World War II was, you can just make so many different just, stories yeah, yeah. outside of it. I don't know if you necessarily need to make remakes for World War, II, World War II, but you could do way more movies. I liked what uh, Overlord did yeah. with uh-huh. World War II because that movie, I don't remember, I, when we went to, and we took Makuga to see The Nun, it was me and Beardo and, and Makuga, and that trailer came on for Overlord, and I said, what are we doing here? This this is going to be horrendous. They're just going to, they're taking World War II, and they're just going to make it a stupid zombie movie, they're not going to pay any attention to the war, and that's the farthest thing from what they did. That first half of that movie mm-hmm. is a World War II movie mm-hmm. that plays into the absurdness of this zombie thing, and I loved it. It was on my top ten movies of the yeah, year I last it year. Yeah. It's great. I really, really um, liked it. And I thought it was a nice spin to World War too. Now, not every movie needs to be a zombie movie, but I think they can still do more World War II and other war movies. Yeah. Do you guys have a f- uh, favorite war movie? I say I'm probably Ryan, probably. I feel like that's war most movie? people's answer. Yeah. Because it's... Uh, Apocalypse Now. That's my favorite yeah, war that's, movie. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. That's an amazing that's movie. Platoon, full full Metal time. Jacket. It's, it's good. pretty it's really crazy. Good. I think Full Metal is mine. Yeah. I, I can't do Full Metal past the, oh. past, uh, the, the, past the uh, 
training. Do you not yeah. like basic it or training. does it just depress you? It becomes you? boring. Yeah. You After boring? basic training, as soon as they leave, yeah. it becomes boring because uh, Matthew Modine is not the interesting character. It's mm-hmm. D'Onofrio. Right. He's no, the D'Onofrio character. is private the movie. Joke, private yeah. Joker is not yeah. that interesting as yeah. private uh, yeah. Cobra Pyle. It's true. Riley, you got one? Full Metal Jacket. Full Metal Jacket. Yeah, see, I, okay. I, I couldn't disagree more. Yeah. I think it gets. I mean, there's something happening it's after so that. Good. It yeah. sets up the movie. It's mood a great movie. Then, oh, but it's Apocalypse great Now too is. So That's amazing. Apocalypse yeah. Now would probably be up there. Yeah. Yeah. I have Platoon in there for sure. Platoon. Yeah. Um, there's some. Uh, there's Police Academy. Police Academy <laughs> for sure. You know, it was on the other Sex night that I watched, uh, like probably an hour and a half. The Hurt Locker. The Hurt Locker. So oh, good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah. It's good. Still good. All right, listen. That was our show today. It's uh, it was an How's hour. That? Oh, we did it. Yeah. We did a full hour. Did we do I'd like it? to cool. thank uh, Collider Live audience for watching for the greatest of the uh, of the modern era. JTE calling in and talking about whatever he talked about. John Roca, Cody Hall, Mark Riley, Darina, the whole damn crew. I'd like to thank you guys and thanks to the great week that we had. Go back and listen to that interview with Liam Cunningham. Please go and do that. Sir Davos, it was amazing. We had a lot of fun. Go and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that already. Make sure that you go to the Collider Live YouTube channel May 20th. That is the first time that this show will be living there. We will no longer be on this channel. So subscribe, turn the notification on, and get your tickets. Houston, we are a week away. May 18th, Andrew Guy versus... Ben Bateman, and then John Roca and Dan Murrow play Corey and Martin in Double Toasted. Get your tickets now. We'll see you next week. Oh, the fucking dog got the bacon. God damn.